I'll have your mate come on then. Expecting some trouble, eh, Tom? What's that? Oh, no, I'm just down a bit of tidying up. There, you didn't happen to see Tiny out there, did you? Didn't see a bit of him, Tom. Oh, can't be after getting himself lost again. Do you know what? That must be the most useless dog in the country. <laughs> he couldn't find his way home with one of them sat nav things tied around his neck. <laughs> well, for a bit of luck this time, he'll stay lost. I bet I still get run over by a car or something. <laughs> this on your bike again, did he? Barking all night he was, I didn't get a wink of sleep. <laughs> maybe he heard somebody outside, a burglar maybe. Burglar me ass. <laughs> oh, self-respecting burglar I'd stay in this country where nobody has anything left worth robbing. <laughs> <laughs> no. They've all left with the cardinals and bricklayers to make, try and make a decent living for themselves. Now that little bollocks just likes the sound of his own voice. Just like those politicians up there in the doll. I thought I was going to have a bit of peace when, when all the kids left, but that notion ended when May brought Dopey Hole through the door. <laughs> oh, said she needed a bit of company whilst so I was out at work. Jesus, Scoppy with them days. Honest to God, mate, that poodle is more trouble than any of the kids ever were. And ten times more expensive too, look at that. Uh -huh. Two euro for one of them, eats two of them a day, seven days a week, that's 28 euros. And if the little boss would get into his head to go outside and roll around the muck, it's another 20 euro for the dog groomer. <laughs> and if he's sick, oh God forbid, I don't see a point for a month. <laughs> and he always has something wrong with him, Mick. He always has something wrong. Not much as a little tiny cough comes out of him and May goes running to that vet and inchy cow. And he thinks he's on Harley Street that tries to see his charges. <laughs> oh, tell you one thing though. In fairness, you know what I mean? If that little fucker, tell me, if that little funny looker doesn't die soon, I'd seriously consider strangling him myself before that swallows up the last few shillings that we have. You make someone a great wife, Tom. <laughs> We hear any more of that muck about making dinner on this woman's work and we're going to fall out, make seriously. I overlooked it the last time because you're fairly new to this being unemployed, you know. I mean, May has more than enough to be doing in our cleaning job than having to come home and cook dinner as well. Jesus, we'd be lost for that whole few, Bob. Anyhow, I don't mind cooking. I mean, I'm no Jamie Oliver, but that's only because the van shop around the corner doesn't sell, or a gun, or, or a, a nato seed, or fancy stuff like that, you know? But like, it passes the time better than looking for work, knocking on doors, looking for work that isn't there. Or worse still, being on one of them poxy force, force courses, learning how to look for work that isn't there. <laughs> <laughs> Someone should tell them bastards and false, they're the only ones in the country with a job, and that men of our age would be better safe Fucking learning how to cook or use the washing machine or better still how to sew a button onto a fucking trousers. Because the way this country has gone, mate, that's the only work we're likely to get. But hell yeah, you'd be better off watching me than slagging me off. I'm coming learning how to cook might come in handy for you when you when you all your redundancy money runs out and your missus has to go back out to work and you're just like me, another statistic on the door. Well, I'll be back in work long before that happens. I've 35 years experience in the motor trade, you know. <laughs> That's exactly what I said. <laughs> with my skills and experience, I'll be back working within the month. That was three years ago. Things will get better. They have to. I don't take... I, my, my sanity could hold on if I had to take, stay in the house all day. It's only two months since I got made redundant, and already herself has me tormented. If she doesn't want this fixed, or that painted, she's moaning about me being under her feet all day. Well, you learn to cope, Mick. I mean, what choice do you have? Do me a favour, get yourself something to do. Get yourself a hobby. A dog, maybe. But for Jesus' sake, if you get yourself a dog, make sure you can get a dog you can be proud to walk around with. A, a, a Doverman or an old station. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Anyhow, come on, we go for a walk. You can help me look for the other board in the economy. <laughs>